Real time is one of those weird filming techniques that seems so simple but is incredibly hard to pull off in any sort of interesting way. Watching someone do everything from brushing their teeth to an extended toilet trip can only serve so much entertainment, so half the battle is framing your time around a concept we wouldn't want to miss a minute of. But if you've got a good story and characters worth caring about, real time can be one of the most rewarding ways of watching a film. And of course, the most scary too when it's done in a horror movie, every moment being accounted for only serving to make it uncomfortably close to our own reality. There are only so many movies which can pull off this audacious trick, and precious few worth recommending. So we have bent the rules a little with this one and listed films that run in mostly real time for large portions of their narrative, if not the entire thing, that at least mimic the effect for a period and use it to bone-chilling success. So synchronize your watches, as I am the real-time recording of Ash from What Culture Horror, isn't that neat? And these are the 10 best horror movies told in real time. 10. All Hallows' Eve Right, we're starting off with the loosest concept of real time here, so bear with me as we work through. All Hallows' Eve is worth the attention. Where Damien Leone's later, darker Art the Clown movie, Terrifier, doesn't quite manage to fit its story into real time, though it does come close, All Hallows' Eve manages to sneakily seal the deal on the real time gimmick thanks to a nifty framing device featuring an ill-fated babysitter watching each short as a VHS. Which is a lot like the actual movie VHS too and that framing narrative, so that could probably fit in this same cheeky categorization as well. In All Hallows' Eve, a teen comes across a set of battered old cassette tapes, so she does what any responsible guardian would do and begins watching them in the company of the children in her care, despite having no idea what these tapes contain. The majority of this uneven but scrappy movie's action is taken up by the contents of these tapes, spooky snuff films which may or may not be repurposed short films from Leone's back catalogue. Yes, this one's a bit of a cheat, but if the shoe fits, eh? Or can be rammed in the boot. 9. Let Us Pray One of the trippier and more ambitious efforts listed here, the gory, blackly comic Let Us Pray does take place over the course of its brief runtime, after midnight but before the sun has risen, to be specific. Within this time frame, the film's lone location action manages to include death by drunk driving, a vengeful demon slash potential angel, some brutally dark backstory, religious self-flagellation, police brutality, and a whole host of insanely over-the-top gore. But at its heart, this dark fantasy-inflected horror is a tale of resilience, trauma, and letting go, albeit one featuring a ton of decapitation, and not to mention a memorable instance of death by chair leg. Anchored by a mesmerizing turn from Game of Thrones' Liam Cunningham, this flick and its many divergent story strands prove that a limited runtime need not mean limited ambition on the part of the filmmakers. 8. Fish and Cat A genuinely outrageous experiment, as well as an effective slice of slasher cinema, Fish and Cat is an Iranian horror which takes its sweet time setting up its creepy punchline. Following a set of students engaged in a winter solstice kite flying competition, this meditatively paced two hour horror moves between the likeable group setting up a camp and a trio of older cooks who are camping nearby and searching for some fresh meat to snack on. A vaguely supernatural and deeply trippy threat appears to be at work beyond the cannibalistic cooks in this daring tale, which passes the camera's perspective from one character to another like a baton, constantly maintaining a real time presentation for its slow burn horror story's numerous reveals. 7. Buried Whether this is officially a horror movie or not is inconsequential to the idea of being buried alive as a truly, deeply, traumatically horrifying concept. This is a horror movie in all but name. This infamous Ryan Reynolds vehicle features the actor alone on screen in a dark coffin for its entire runtime, playing a defense contractor who has been kidnapped and buried alive. Set to die unless he can negotiate his ransom via a rapidly dying mobile phone, the character runs through denial, bargaining, anger, and every other emotion under the sun during this claustrophobic nightmare. A genuinely gripping ordeal, this entire flick not only takes place in real time, but its action is confined to the lone location of the closed coffin's cramped interior as our poor hero slowly loses his sanity and precious oxygen. The film's mean-spirited twist, along with a snappy runtime, ensures it is a must-watch for anyone undeterred by sheer tonal darkness. 6. 1408 The haunted house horror ride 1408 does open and close with some time skips, but it is a wildly underrated Stephen King adaptation, and one that does feature a big old chunk of near enough real time in the middle. Starring John Cusack as a cynical debunker of paranormal phenomena, he meets his match when he endeavours to spend a night in the titular haunted hotel room. 
The gruff anti-heroes in Terminable Alarm Clock ensures that the audience knows his rapidly worsening hotel stay is taking place in real time. It's a necessary touch, too, as whilst the haunting may begin with some minor ghost sightings and creepy hallucinations, the room is soon twisting space and time itself in impossible ways. As such, the clock's jarring outburst late in the film reminds viewers that only an hour has passed since he took up residence in the cursed room, despite how much longer the ordeal may feel. 5. Green Room Coming from Blue Ruin director Jeremy Saulnier, 2015's unbearably tense, disturbing siege on a titular green room barely diverges from real time outside of its brief opening and closing sequences. Otherwise, this taut and brutally violent thriller maintains real time as its plot follows the ordeal of a punk band hunted by violent neo-Nazis, and attempting to survive the night after accidentally walking in on a murder scene. Boasting an ensemble cast including a terrifying Patrick Stewart as a soft-spoken skinhead psychopath, the late great Anton Yelchin as a band member, and Imogen Poots as a surprisingly resilient survivor, this twisty flick packs more shocking moments of extreme violence into its slim, real-time plot than many horror directors manage in their entire careers. With a box-cutter dissection, an arm hacked to shreds, and trained dogs chowing down on one unfortunate character, the film is merciless and unbearably tense. Gripping and relentlessly downbeat, this one is unfortunately a believable slice of gruesome horror for those who like their thrills to have a real bite. 4. La Casa Muda Whilst it may not really be shot in one long take as the filmmakers initially claimed, though a casual viewer could be fooled by the film's clever framing, this twisty Argentinian horror is told entirely in real time. Following the perspective of a young woman as she returns home to help her relatives refurbish a home in ruins, the film sees its hero haunted by ghosts of the past throughout a long, dark night in the remote country home. Of course, nothing is quite as it seems, and this horror soon reveals itself to be a dark psychological thriller where the past is as much a spectre as any ghost, and disturbing trauma is more of a threat than any supernatural presence. Depending on how you read the film's strange ending, that is. Remade shot for shot as the Elizabeth Olsen vehicle Silent House only a year later in 2011, both versions of this haunted house story may feature somewhat exploitative twists, but both deserve credit for their audacious real-time conceit and inventive direction. 3. Exam An ingeniously simple setup worthy of Black Mirror, Exam is a dark satire that takes place over the course of one torturous job interview. Sort of. Eight candidates are gathered together to compete for a much sought-after position in a shadowy corporation, who the viewer knows almost nothing about. What follows is an intense and gripping exam, where the participants are pitted against one another in a battle of wits as the viewer receives hints to the true nature of this enterprise, all without anyone ever leaving the film's one-room location. Is the ending a strange combination of corny and underexplained? Perhaps. Does this inevitably head-boinking explanation ruin the thrilling tension built by the film's real-time chaos? Not a bit. 2. Cherry Tree Lane Cherry Tree Lane is a strange mashup of director Paul Andrew Williams's first two films, the gritty socialist realist drama London to Brighton and his silly, gory horror comedy The Cottage. As if trying to find a bizarre middle ground between these polar extremes, this hoodie horror from 2010 stages a home invasion entirely in real time, as a set of vicious youths descend upon a suburban home in order to avenge a friend. More like a blackly comic pinter play than Eden Lake, this dark slice of social drama depicts these nihilistic kids as soulless monsters, and their captives as uncaring, absent parents. There's little hope here, but a whole lot of tension and sharp dialogue as the tense siege between kids and adults is drawn out over the film's real-time action. It's an uncomfortable and bracing watch, and one of the few hoodie horrors which doesn't make for dated and cringeworthy watching a decade later. 1. Unfriended This underrated teen horror makes for an agreeably mean-spirited tale of vengeance on bullies by other bullies from beyond the grave not only presented entirely in real time, but also taking place entirely on the screen of one laptop, this film's conceit could very easily have overwhelmed its story. However, the filmmakers made the wise choice to mess around with their seriousness and emotional resonance. Instead, the tale is spun into a hilariously downbeat and nasty piece of teen drama where the characters are universally hate-worthy, and the audience is encouraged to cheer on their inevitable demises. Unfriended's secret weapon is that it revels in its genre tropes, making no attempts to humanize its nasty characters when it can instead slowly ratchet up the tension and black humor all the way through to its charmingly cynical jump scare ending. And that's our list. Which other mostly real-time horrors belong up here? Share your thoughts in the comment section below. 
I've been Ash over on social media at Ash Millman, and this has been What Culture. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and come back again soon for some more spine tingling horror content. Thanks for watching.